Hello and welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Nicola Johnston and it's the last day of the London Film Festival 2012 and it's freezing! But we're going to have fun today and we're starting off with enchanting animation, Ernest and Celestine. Ernest and Celestine is a timeless tale. Yeah. What was it about um, Gabrielle Vincent's stories that inspired you to make it into a film? Well, the, um, actually, it's my producer. He really wanted to, to make the film since he, he read it. He read the book to his daughter when she was three. Now she's 23, but uh, uh, so he really wanted to make the, the film. And when uh, he asked me to, to work on it, I was so thrilled by the pictures, the illustration, the way she was drawing and the emotions that were in the, in the books, the way she was talking about very simple facts, but with huge uh, feelings. So all those things, it was a great motivation for all of us. Um, the graphism is something uh, we don't uh, often have the um, opportunity to make a film with uh, watercolor and uh, this kind of animation. So it was a unique, uh, a unique uh, occasion. So the animation and the palette, the watercolors, it complements the actual drawings in the books? Um, sorry, I, I couldn't understand the question. The, in the storybooks, yeah. um, the, the, the drawings, yeah, so yeah. your animation complements those drawings? Yeah, of course. It's, we wanted to pay respect to the books and to Gabrielle Vincent, to all of her works, because she had a wonderful... Uh, um, uh, she was a painter as well, so we watched everything she did. She, we met her family, we met her friends, everyone she, she knew. So we could uh, really make a gift to, to her, even if she's, she's dead, unfortunately, now, but wanted to really pay respect to, to her, her work. Were her family and friends pleased with the result? Uh, she, she was from Belgium, so they are uh, from Belgium. But uh, yeah, they actually, uh, when the film was screened for the first time in Cannes, uh, they, uh, the family was here and uh, when the screening was over I just turned and I saw they were crying of joy, I hope. <laughs> yeah, and they said it was the best gift I, I could give to their aunt because the um, family was uh, her nephew. So, so yeah, uh, it was a, a really great, uh, great moment and I think they liked it. And, uh, how important, Benjamin, is it to get the balance between entertainment and depth in a story like this? Because it is really for children. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, we the, sc the screenplay was uh, made by a, um, a French writer, so he he mixed all of uh, his films. Uh, I didn't really work on the. Um, uh, well, how could I say that? Uh, <laughs> so can you repeat the question so I can be sure I, I, I understood it right? Okay. I was asking about um, the balance between entertainment yeah. and also the message the film gives. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's always a strong message underneath. It's an unlikely yeah, friendship, yeah. isn't it, that's formed between yeah, the bear course, and the yeah. mouse? Yeah. Well, um, actually, what we wanted when we made the film, we wanted to have fun, you know, the three directors on all the teams. So it was like uh, some scenes, it was really having fun, like. Uh, there's a scene in the film where music and uh, drawings are mixing together to create like a Fantasia movie, you know, when the, so th there was this kind of entertainment and comedy as well. We wanted to put it uh, inside the film. And uh, the, um, the screenwriter, then he really put all the political, political, it's not really political, but you know, all the deep feelings and stuff like that. So we had a, a good mix, even even screenplay, everything was here, so we just had to put it into picture into uh, image and it was perfect